Hi there, just wanted to post a little video today um, in compliment with today's blog post about if you should wear a mask when you travel. Now when I'm talking about a mask, I'm talking about a FFP2 mask in the UK or an N95 mask in the US. The surgical masks or wearing a scarf or even a plastic Tupperware over your head are not really going to do the trick. These masks are designed to keep out 95% of the airborne particles. In my blog post, I do mention how you have to be fit to wear it, and I just wanted to explain a little bit more about that. So to be fit, you have to wear your hair as you will on the day. You'll also not to, you'll need not to have any facial hair. So if you have a mustache or a beard, you'd have to shave that off because the point of the mask is to have a very smooth um, fitting on your face. You also need to wear the mask um, the same way each time. So wherever your rubber band sits, that's where you need to attach it. So open the mask a little bit. We recommend putting one on the top of your head, across the crown, and then the other one along the back, which I should have done first. Then the next part is you wanna make sure it tucks underneath your chin. You use two hands to fold around your nose. And then the big test is to blow into your hands and if you feel any air around your skin, it's not fit properly and it's not gonna protect you. So I can feel around my nose that it's not fit. Different people have different shaped faces so they might need a different size. Um, in addition, after a few minutes, you will start to get very hot. These are single use only, so once the oils start to collect on the mask, it's not as effective. And yeah, that's about it. You can tell it's a little bit harder to hear. Um, if I was working in other personal protective equipment, PPE, again, I would get very hot. So in my previous roles working in academic health and safety, that's where I fitted people with these masks. Um, but of course, you always want to follow government recommendations as well as your personal employer or GP on how to protect yourself. It's considered a pandemic today from the World Health Organization. So I really hope that you are being safe wherever you are. Please take the right precautions, make sure to wash your hands, and if you have any questions, leave a comment below.